Falcon Heavy, SpaceX's monster that shook the space industry almost three years ago, is about to awaken once more with a bunch of missions in 2022. So what can we expect from it in this explosive year? Let's find out more in today's episode of Great SpaceX. Welcome back to Great SpaceX. If you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell to make sure you never miss any updates from us. Now, without further ado, let's start today's content. Starship, SpaceX's flagship rocket, is the biggest monster in the space industry today, which is designed to turn humanity into a multi-planetary species. However, to assert its position in this money-burning industry, it needs to fly first. But unlike Starship, Falcon Heavy has proven its power. The rocket is composed of three modified Falcon 9 first stage boosters connected side by side, with a total of 27 Merlin 1D engines that are capable of producing 5.1 million pounds of thrust at liftoff. Its missions are always impressive to watch, especially when SpaceX recovers all three Falcon cores with synchronized propulsive landings. Falcon Heavy's demonstration flight test launched the iconic Tesla Roadster that carried the Starman mannequin to orbit on February 6th of 2018, from the same Florida pad used by NASA's Apollo missions. Yes, there is a literal car cruising out in our solar system. Woo! As of January 19th, the Roadster is over 230 million miles from Earth, moving away from our planet at a speed of 11,392 miles per hour, according to tracking data by whereisroadster.com. The awe-inspiring launch made Falcon Heavy the world's most powerful operational rocket and the third highest capacity launch vehicle ever to reach orbit. Following NASA's Saturn V rocket and Russia's Energia rocket, which are no longer operational. Musk used to state that Falcon Heavy opens up a new class of payload. It can launch twice as much payload as any other rocket in the world. It can launch things right to Pluto and beyond, no stop needed. What an extraordinary ability indeed. In addition, the remarkable flight also demonstrates a three-core rocket that can reliably launch a heavy payload to space. And for us, Falcon Heavy absolutely is a feat. What's more, its launch cost is very cheap, just $90 million per instant. The Delta IV Heavy, meanwhile, can launch 32 tons into orbit and costs between $300 million to $500 million per flight. It could be said that SpaceX's Falcon 9 is one of the best choices in terms of cost. Which begs the question, why doesn't SpaceX's Falcon Heavy fly much despite possessing such great power? Well, you know what they say about great power. There has to be great demand. The first reason belongs to the market factor, especially the supply and demand issues of satellites. The Falcon Heavy is not only a heavy lift vehicle capable of carrying satellites up to a maximum of 64 tons into low Earth orbit, but also it's reusable. That makes it the most economical heavy lift rocket on the market. Even designing such an impressive amount of capacity such as this, they still can't take advantage of it as the weight of most satellites typically fall within the range of between 2 to 8 tons, making smaller rockets like the Falcon 9 more suitable. Falcon 9 is a partially reusable two-stage to orbit medium lift launch vehicle designed and manufactured by, you guessed it, SpaceX. This vehicle can lift payloads of up to 22,800 kilograms to LEO, 8,300 kilograms to geostationary transfer orbit when expended. The price back in 2020 is $62 million per launch, cheaper than Falcon Heavy's launch cost. Besides that, the expansion of the small satellite market has facilitated the private company Rocket Lab to thrive with its Electron rocket. This tiny rocket is capable of launching payloads for less than $5 million, and due to the demand for such rockets, it has a busy schedule. As a result, there are only a few missions for Falcon Heavy. Another factor affecting flight schedules is the development of Starship, SpaceX's next-gen spacecraft. As of 2020, Elon Musk said Starship is SpaceX's top priority. 
The spacecraft is designed to be a fully reusable vehicle that can support both crew and cargo configurations that can make trips to both Earth orbit and deep space destinations, including the Moon and Mars, when paired with the Super Heavy rocket booster. SpaceX eventually wants to replace both Falcon 9 and Heavy with Starship, which should reduce costs by unifying its production lines and offering full reusability. However, after being dormant for over two years, SpaceX's powerful Falcon Heavy will conduct multiple missions this year. Most notably, those launches will all lift off from the historic Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The most exciting mission to look forward to will occur in August of 2022. SpaceX Falcon Heavy will launch NASA's Psyche spacecraft on a robotic mission to explore a 140 miles wide metal-rich asteroid called 16 Psyche. According to SpaceX, the mission for which NASA requires the highest level of launch vehicle reliability will study a metal asteroid between Mars and Jupiter to help humanity better understand the formation of our solar system's planets. NASA is paying the company around $117 million for launch services and other mission-related costs. Moreover, Falcon Heavy will also conduct national security missions for the U.S. Space Force. The first one is USSF-44, followed by Dash-52 and Dash-67 being the last. SpaceX initially aimed to launch a Falcon Heavy flight for the USSF last year. However, U.S. military representatives said that the mission has been delayed until 2022 due to payload readiness. For now though, no target launch dates have been announced yet. The mission known as USSF-44 will deploy a pair of spacecraft directly into geosynchronous orbit, one being the military's Tetra-1 satellite and the other a classified payload. The company is looking to launch USSF-44 during the first half of 2022. Falcon Heavy will also launch the USS F-52 that will deploy an undisclosed payload during the second quarter of 2022. The government will pay SpaceX over $130 million per Falcon Heavy flight to conduct each national security mission. The military might also decide to launch the USS F-67 mission atop a Falcon Heavy rocket before the year's end. It will likely have a higher price tag because it will require new infrastructure. SpaceX agreed to build a vertical integration building and an increased rocket fairing size for future US military missions launched from the Florida Space Coast. The addition of a third national security mission for Falcon Heavy will make quite a scheduling challenge for SpaceX's three core rocket. But it's worth it. In the end, whenever Falcon Heavy flies next, it will mark the vehicle's first launch since June of 2019, and that will be a remarkable milestone. 2022 will be a promising year for SpaceX in general and Falcon Heavy in particular. So let's wait and see the explosive outcome. And that's all the information we have for you today. If you enjoy what my team and I are doing and would like to continue supporting us in a huge way, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. And don't forget to tell us what you thought about today's content. Everyone's support motivates us to continue delivering quality content and to always improve. And as always, this is Kevin with Great SpaceX, and my team and I will see you next time.